911, do you require fire, police, or ambulance? Fire and police calls will continue to ring at Medicine Hat's 911 dispatch center. However, medical emergencies will begin heading Calgary's way in 2011. And Monday night, aldermen made their feelings known on the Alberta Health Services centralization plan. And maybe they should send Calgary's dispatch to us. And I, I'd like to say that Mr. Leipert needs to pull his head out of somewhere and realize that Alberta Health Services does not need to be centered in Calgary and Edmonton. As a council, stand up to the province right now and our MLAs because we're getting snubbed again. And, and this, it's actually disgraceful. I'm, I'm really, really disappointed on this one. Much of the outrage at City Council stems from Medicine Hat being an EMS model for the province, a reality many local politicians thought would have brought a centralized dispatch center to our city. Instead, that possibility has fallen flat. We have the most um, advanced accreditation 911 center in the world. There is no match. There is nobody in Alberta that's got the accreditation that we have. And that's as simple as that. Officials with Alberta Health Services EMS say they are concerned with the strong feelings coming from City Council, yet say they are surprised with the timing. This is not anything new. People have been expecting this. We've been very honest and open about, uh, you know, the RFP process and the decision once it was made. We've been ensuring that everybody is fully aware of what the process is. Rhonda Grant runs Medicine Hat's award-winning dispatch center, fielding over 200 calls every day. She says despite new technology in centralized hubs like Calgary and Edmonton, local dispatchers have an advantage in a life and death game. Being, you know, part of the municipality, we have direct contact with all of the other um, departments and agencies such as water and sewer, municipal works and those sorts of things. So when there's a road closure for example, uh, we're the first ones to know about it. As for Alberta Health Services, they say changes won't impact how long it takes an ambulance to arrive at an emergency. Nonetheless, City Council says they will continue to fight for local calls being picked up by local experts. Scott Cunningham, Chat News.